today. From Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, it's week 12 of the NFL on EA Sports. Justin Herbert and the Cincinnati Bengals versus Carson Wentz and the New York Giants. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Giants and the Cincinnati Bengals. Again, everyone, I'm Brandon Gordon to my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jakeem Grant on the return. Here come the Bengals now to take over. Leading him out, the number six overall pick back in April from Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week but he found a way for his team to win. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Herbert. Melvin Ingram. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Two plays so far, run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Out of the gun, Herbert. That's caught by Hollister. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. On fourth down, on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep, Tariq Cohen. To recall that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So here are the Giants under head coach Joe Judge. And they'll be led out by their quarterback in his fifth season now. The former number two overall pick, Carson Wentz. You talk about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down. Got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, 
want to play mistake-free football, well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. First carry for Devontae Booker. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That yeah, was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. Herbert's pass. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up third and one. Freeman. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should ought to have a few men in the box there. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10, down at the 31. Here's Freeman. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now the second down throw on target. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. This is Freeman. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. At the Giants' 11-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Freeman. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. Operating from the gun, Herbert. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They down up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. Now Aldrich Roses for the field goal attempt. From the left hash, a chip shot here. 26-yard attempt. Rosas' kick is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. Bengals 3, Giants nothing. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Carson Wentz, along with his offense, heading back out there for their next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass, 
and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He's brought down at the 31. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Shotgun now for Wentz. Ebron with it over the middle. Wentz is passed. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 20-yard line. First down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. Dayton Jones makes the stop defensively. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. Three nothing seven. after one on EA Sports. The the first quarter with the score: Bengals three, Giants nothing. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Working from the gun, Wentz. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And that's a touchdown, but hold on, there is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Holding offense. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. Got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. <laughs> Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Brings up third and less than a yard. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Tackle made. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. On first and goal, Gurley. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight yard line. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. At the Bengals. This is Hines. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. To throw his wins. Polluted. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack. And now they're going to force him into a field goal. For them, that's a win. Ryan Suckup will come on and try the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive. 
But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. A 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. From the gun, Herbert got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 40. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Booker. And he's taken down inside the 30. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. 23 yard line. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and operating from the gun. Herbert. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Robert Quinn in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll still have a third and goal now, despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A 36-yard attempt. Rosa's kick is good. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. Makes the score. Bengals 6. Giants 3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... 
Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? First and ten. They're on 26 yards. The New York set to take the field. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz, they'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. And the Giants first down. From the gun, it's Wentz. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. He was covered by Steven Nelson. Wentz. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Throwing his wins. He'll buy some time right. He can run for it. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Bengals grab it. Wins on the keeper. A fumble on the play. Good job starting on that scramble. Had his eyes on that first down marker CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. Cincinnati set to take over once again. But well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Throwing again, Herbert. Throwing the out route, incomplete. It's Grant. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Third and two, Herbert. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. For the field goal, a 58-yard attempt. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Take over first and 10. At their own back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, 
had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Wentz now to throw. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now it's Gurley. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three at the 41. Now a play fake. Wentz. They'll roll him out right. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 30. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. downfield nobody came open he's trying to do everything that he had been taught right every bit of the technique but if no one's open there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked so second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range Another try after the first down sack. Wentz firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. And it's third down. Now Wentz. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Bengals have recovered it. Just in the river and sack. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. So here are the Bengals set to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Now Herbert following the turnover. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. 
right after the turnover they come out throwing and that means it's a sudden change situation we used to practice it on defense sudden change get out there stop the offense but you typically run out there a little bit unsettled i think that's why he came right out throwing the football hoping to catch him off balance and he did This is Freeman on first and 10. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10. On second down, here's Herbert. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little gain. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On third down, it's Freeman, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him two yards on that play, and it will result in a fresh set of downs. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play, and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Ball carrier. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. One yard gain. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Herbert operating from the red zone. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 11-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Booker. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The ball carrier. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. From the gun, Herbert. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. Then he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Flushed out right. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard at the 19-yard line. On second down now. It's Hines, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. 
The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. And Allen's got it. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. On first and ten, here's Wentz toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the Pro Bowl wideout Keenan Allen there, but it's going to be second down. He'll run it. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. First How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Wentz. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Steps away, and he's going to keep it here. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now Carson Wentz down. Boy, you think about the injury history he's had. And he remains on the turf. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Allen's got it over the middle. It's a first down on a gain of 10. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Throwing on first down. Jones to the right side to Eric Ebron. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here at a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Now Jones, and he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal the one-yard line. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. New York. Todd Gurley with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. And 
and he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a Todd Gurley touchdown run. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. That's caught by Hollister. Not much there, only a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. A gain of a yard brings up the Bengals on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and seven. A big spot for the rookie, Herbert. It's complete to Grant. He's got daylight. 20. And he's going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there on the catch and run. 58 yards. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Herbert back to the air. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. A gain of six there on first. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after, and it's third and four. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. So this defense, they looked a little shaky to start the drive, but bottom line, they're a play away from finishing it off. They rocked them a little bit on this drive, didn't they? But as you and I both know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. They snap it to Herbert. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Gurley again here on first down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll try and chew some clock with Gurley. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third and two, Jones. And that is incomplete. That was a good play, an incompletion that feels like a disappointment. 
The ball was tipped in the air, a chance for an interception, and you can just feel the home crowd coming together, thinking this is the big play we've been looking for. And when it falls to the ground, a little bit of disappointment, even though it was a good play. So now the Bengals down 10-6, less than 90 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now it's Herbert. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. At the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the play. And that'll make this a second down. Dumping this off underneath to Booker. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Cincinnati Bengals. Drops it underneath for Booker. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. Herbert now to throw. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he was unable to use the size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity, just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for the Giants, they just keep on rolling as they move to nine and two with a win here. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Bengals, we'll see how this affects their playoff standing as they fall to seven and four now in the year. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.